so json array request new json array request and inside this i need to pass a few par parameters that is um, first we need to pass the context and then we need to pass the url that is json url inside the json array request constructor we need to pass few parameters the first parameter i need to pass is the request the kind of request that we need to send to the url so that is uh, in our case is get request so if you are aware of the request uh, number of requests that we can send to the web browser that is get post delete put there are so many okay and you don't need to know all of them request dot method dot get so second thing we need to pass is the url of the data where our json data is saved so that is json url then we need to pass the nullable json array request which is null and then we can finally pass the listener let's uh, implement the listener for this so we need to create the response listener so response so on response we are going to do something inside this once we get the response from the url that we have passed here we can uh, start extracting the data inside this response okay so all the data json data is stored in this response json array variable and we can start extracting that data so to extract the data we need to uh, you know iterate through the responses that we have so we need to use for loop here so i'm going to use for loop so if the we are going to run our for loop as long as we have the data inside the response so i'm going to use the length variable here to find the number of data that is present inside this response and increment the data for each json array item in this response i'm going to create the json object so by using json object class song object we're going to use response dot get json object and in we need to specify the position that is i in our case and it is giving me some error so let me see what is that so it says we might get some exception so we need to surround that by try catch block so now inside this i can start extracting the data i'm gonna get the inform i'm gonna create the song object here and once i populate the uh, data to that song object i'm gonna store that data into the list that we have here called as songs okay so in the in that way we'll get the all the data of the json url we have here new song and notice here i am using the empty constructor now i can use setter to set the data so set title and i can use json object that we have here i'm going to use get string method of json object and here i need to pass the name of the uh, field that we have in the json data so if i go here and show you we have this song as the field url artist and cover image so we need to give the exact name here so i'm going to copy that and paste it here and we need to convert that to the string so let me do that to a string and i'm going to do the same thing for the title artist and the song url and song uh, cover image url so let me do that Okay. and finally now i can uh, insert this to the list that we have so songs songs is the list dot add and inside this i can uh, pass the song object that we have here so in this way we can uh, create the list of songs for all the data that we received from the json and it is showing uh, giving me some error so let me fix that i need to add one more error listener here so new response.error listener and this uh, error is listener is triggered if we cannot uh, receive the data so i'm gonna just log the result now finally once we uh, extract the all the data i can uh, set the layout manager to our recycler view so set layout manager and inside this i'm gonna use new linear layout manager because we are just displaying the data in linear uh, manner but if you guys want to learn how to create this uh, recycler view with the multiple columns and uh, use the grid layout then uh, you can watch the previous video that i have uploaded in the channel there i explain about how to use grid layout manager for the recycler view 
so i'll link that in the description as well and now finally i'm gonna create the adapter object so new adapter and inside we need to pass two parameter that is context if you remember and second is songs okay so we already have the song list here now because we extracted the data here and now our songs uh, list contain all the song that is uh, received from the json file and uh, now i can set the adapter to the recycler view so set adapter and we'll set the adapter okay so now our application is ready to run so let's see by running this application i have connected my device here and i'm gonna run this okay the application is running now and let me show you okay but we are not uh, receiving any data in the recycler view here and that may be because i have not given the internet permission to this application so let me go back to my android manifest file and here i'm going to specify the user's permission for the internet okay so we still don't have the data here and that is because you can notice that it is never used okay the queue is never used and the array request is never used because i forgot to send the request so once we uh, create all these things we need to send the uh, json array request to the queue so i can do that by using the add method of the queue so let me do that queue.add and here i need to provide the json array request and that is we have here so let me fix something here guys i'm gonna set this layout manager and adapter inside this uh, extract song method after we get the data okay so here and i'm gonna change this to get application context okay because for some reason when i run this application and if i uh, put this thing after this uh, extract song it's not, it's kind of not working so uh, let's uh, put this everything here and also in the adapter you may have noticed that i have not given the get item count here so i'm gonna give the songs that size as the item count so we will display the number of items that is present in our song list to the recycler view so finally i'm gonna run this application and hopefully that it's going to work now okay you can see that it is displaying the data so it is displaying the all the data that we have and it is loading the images so my internet is kind of slow right now so it is uh, displaying the image is really slow but it will work for you okay so guys uh this is the final thing that i wanted to show you guys so uh okay so this brings to the end of this video and uh, let me know guys if you want me to implement the full uh music player with this uh data so as i have shown you in the beginning of the video and uh comment your thoughts on this video on the disc uh, if you have any problems don't forget to comment in the comment box below and subscribe to our channel like this video so that a lot of people get help from this video i also have the facebook group and the facebook page so if you want to get quick response you can go there and post your uh, queries and also i will link the source code of this uh, project in the description so you can get the source code from there and okay so i hope to see you in my next video until then bye bye have a good day